Hey guys, welcome back. This is another installment of As I See It, where I deal out my thoughts and my feelings on something because it's completely from my perspective. And that's why it is As I See It. There are so many characters on My Hero Academia that it is hard not to fall in love with them. There's just so many amazing characters. There's people who love Midoriya, Uchako, or even one of my favorites, Sue. But I'm going to be talking about somebody else today. See, there's this growing following that I seem to be, I guess, a part of where there's this extreme love for one of my absolute favorites. Bakugo. So there are plenty of people that sneer and they're just like, Bakugo is hot headed and he's just a really bad guy and he's just a bully and he's completely irredeemable. And to those who say that he's completely irredeemable are completely bypassing a huge aspect of Bakugo's character. And while those who say that he's hot tempered, sure, you may be right, he is hot tempered. But if that's all that you see about Bakugo, you are overlooking a lot about him. See, Bakugo is an extremely driven character who just wants to be the best. He has an idol and he wants to live up to those expectations. And that idol happens to be All Might, just like Midoriya. The difference with Midoriya and Bakugo is that one has this power and this drive and determination that he's going to bypass anybody else to get there versus Midoriya who didn't have that power so he had a different upbringing and a different perspective. Bakugo though never gives up. He knows what he wants to do and he's going to give his all to get there. And some might say well that is like a setup for somebody who's going to be a villain one day, and no. Bakugo, underneath all of that harshness, is an extremely soft and caring person. He's just not going to outwardly show it. But he's done this multiple times where he's helped friends out in ways that only somebody that really cares about something is going to do. Bakugo has a heart, it's just buried under a lot of blast and fire. You see, Bakugo wants to be the best hero. He wants to save people. He wants people to look at him and think, hey, this guy is awesome at helping people. He's amazing and he is so good at this. Bakugo's real fault isn't that he's hot headed, but that he just wants to be revered. So you see, Bakugo isn't perfect, but he wants to be better. And you can see that in the way that he's influenced by his classmates. Time and time again, he's not only just helping them, but actually taking their advice and wisdom and using that to help become better. And also to become softer. The Bakugo that started at UA is different than the Bakugo now. And I haven't talked too much about his character development, but we've seen a lot of it so far, and it's been really, really intriguing. And to be honest, I just, I think it might be one of the best character developments that they have in the show. He's a character that is forced and driven by change, and we're seeing that play out on screen, and it's awesome. Bakugo is amazing, and the fact that Bakugo isn't gonna just give up and he's gonna keep plowing forward is something that I absolutely love. Thanks for watching this latest installment of As I See It. If you have any recommendations of things that I should talk about next time, go ahead and leave it down below. Bye.